Also before we divide in scientific notation, we need a rule for what happens to exponents when we divide. Now remember that previously we had the following rule. For any number b that is not 0 and any integers m and n, well, b to the m times b to the n is b to the m plus n. In other words, in order to multiply exponential expressions with the same base, we just add the exponents. And that was very useful to us in multiplying in scientific notation. Because, for example, 10 to the 25th times 10 to the negative 7th is 10 to the 25 plus negative 7, which is 10 to the 18th. And we can do all that without writing out a whole bunch of zeros. What about division? Well, it probably won't surprise you to learn that since division is the opposite of multiplication and subtraction is the opposite of addition, when we swap the multiplication to division, we swap the addition to subtraction. All right, so the rule for division is for any number b except 0 and any integers m and n, b to the m divided by b to the n, which we can write b to the m over b to the n, well, that's going to be just b to the m minus n. And there are two ways that we can see this. One way is to think about this directly in terms of division and look at what happens. The other way is to think in terms of rewriting division as multiplication. And I'm going to show you some concrete examples directly in terms of a division. And then I'm going to show you the general rule in terms of rewriting as multiplication. So as a concrete example, let's say we're taking 4 to the 7th over 4 to the 3rd. Right? That means we have seven copies of the number 4 in the numerator. And we have three copies of the number 4 in the denominator. Canceling out common factors, we cancel out a 4 and another 4 and another 4. What's left? 4 to the 4th in the numerator and just 1 in the denominator. So that's 4 to the 4th. And of course, 4 is 7 minus 3. Okay, let's see another example. Let's say we have 3 squared over 3 to the 7th. We'll have two copies of the number 3 in the numerator, and we'll have seven copies of the number 3 in the denominator. Again, canceling common factors. What's left in the numerator is just 1. And what's left in the denominator is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 copies of the number 3. So 3 to the 5th. If we want to rewrite that without a fraction, 1 over 3 to the 5th, that's 3 to the negative 5th. Right? That's just what it means to be 3 to the negative 5th. And of course, negative 5 is 2 minus 7. Okay, so we see what's going on, right? If we have a, a positive difference, like this one, all of the numbers in the denominator are canceling out, and we're just left with some numbers in the numerator. How many? Well, all the ones that didn't cancel out. If we have a, a negative difference, like this one, then all the numbers in the numerator are canceling out. And we're just left with whatever's in the denominator that didn't cancel. So that's in terms of specific examples. 
Let me go through this in general now. Right, so we want to take b to the m divided by b to the n. Well, we can rewrite that division as multiplication. In fact, it's b to the m times times what? Well, we want the multiplicative inverse of b to the n. We know what that is. That's b to the negative n. Okay, but now we're multiplying, right? That's b to the m plus negative n. Okay, plus the opposite. That's subtraction. That's how we get b to the m minus n. So in terms of concrete examples, we can see the intuition. And in complete generality, it really is that division is the opposite of multiplication and subtraction is the opposite of addition.